It's hot. This ain't gonna cut it. I'm drinking 805 right now. By the way, welcome to Cooking While Drunk. It is hot. It's 80 degrees out. So let's make a mojito. Mojitos are fairly simple to make. Take a couple cubes of ice in your Boston shaker. I put it on the wrong side. Couple sprigs of mint. Who do you have smell vision yet? I don't think so, but can you smell that? Looks different, yeah? Well, this is chocolate mint, and the stems have a lot more flavor than your regular mint. So you give them a rinse, which I did. Oh, that's a flower. I rinse that off a little bit. Throw it in, and this is just a mojito for one. Our chocolate mint is, uh, we're using it faster than it can grow. <laughs> so we're just gonna use a couple pieces. I'm going to muddle it to break it up. And then we're going to do two ounces of white rum. We're using Bacardi Superior today. A little bit of the simple syrup my wife made. I don't like it too sweet. I like to taste the alcohol. Now we got that. We're going to get some ice. Thank you to my lovely bride who went downstairs to bring up a bag of ice because I'm on a knee injury. As you can see, I got my new fashion device here. So now that it's muddled, pour that with the mint and this is just cucumber melon soda water you can use plain soda water but i really like the cucumber melon water this goes good with any alcohol i've had it with tequila i've had it with rum vodka and whiskey actually i use it in a whiskey sour and it came out really good give it a little stir push down the mint Oh, that's good. Let's see if the wife wants to try it. Yum. All right, so here's what we're making today. Hmm. I'm not really sure. I need to think. We're gonna make chicken feet. More than that, we're gonna bra we're gonna um, braise it for a little bit. We're gonna boil it for a little bit, kind of like a braise, and then we're going to barbecue. I got some fat steaks up there on the grill, and I got some pineapple sausage for the kids. So yeah, when it's 85 degrees out, it's time to grill. So as you can see, I removed all of the nails, and this is very simple how to do it. Get your knife, go alongside, and just slice it off. Now I wish cutting my nails were this easy, but my nails require like industrial cutters. And there we go. There we have it. There's one there. And then these two, I usually get together and do it all at once. And then the little thumb or claw. And that is it. All right, so I'm going to clean up. I'm going to get reset and we'll be right back. We'll have some more drinks and we'll make some feet. All right, welcome back. We're all cleaned up. So, like I said, we are making chicken feet. Over here, we have our heavy bottom pot. A little bit of oil. And I'm just gonna just give it the oil around the bottom. And I'm going to add, I've got about three, actually this is more than three cloves, but they're a small cloves of garlic. I have one habanero and one uh, banana pepper from our garden. And I have two teeny tiny red uh, onions that grew out of our garden. They were so small, like that small. So I decided just to use them instead of shallots. This is gonna take a few minutes.
So once they start to turn fragrant, oh, that garlic starts to smell good. And don't forget, you want to do it before the garlic starts to brown, because once it starts to turn black, that's it. It's done for. So now we're going to throw in our chicken feet, which is rinse and clean. We're just going to let these kind of brown for a second. So if it looks like your, your oil has evaporated, it's okay to go ahead and give it another splash. Not evaporated, uh, dissipated, or disappeared into the onion. All right, next up we're going to, once they get, are they getting those? Yes, if you can see they're getting a little brown. I don't want to brown them too much because by the time the feet get brown, the garlic will burn. So, scrape up the bottom little bits as they go along. Next I'm going to add one quarter cup of soy sauce. One quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar, but I have almost completely switched over to rice wine vinegar. I have one quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, freshly ground. Give it a stir to coat. Once it gets nice and coated. Now you notice I didn't boil these first. Most people do. This time I didn't because I'm just going to let it release the collagen. And then I'm going to let it simmer for about 30 plus minutes. And then I'm going to take it out and then we're going to barbecue them. Oh yeah, it's going to be so delicious. So, you can let this cover this, let it simmer for about um, 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to give it a stir every five minutes until it gets nice and coated. Once they get a nice, <coughs> nice brown coating, um, yeah, the peppers are starting to hit us. <laughs> the, hala, the habaneros, oh my god. That's much better. As they, as they cook down the brown sugar and the soy sauce will create that, and the vinegar will create that little glaze almost. As you can see, they're already starting to get covered, looking nice and molassesy like. It also take about 20 to 30 minutes. Give it a stir every five minutes or so, and then we'll be done, and then we'll come back, we'll take them out, we'll let them cool down, and we'll go fire up the grill. You know I gotta fire up the grill. All right? lid, turn it down to low to medium because this is a thick bottom pot. So it does, my, this pot does retain heat a lot better than some of my, my other pots. And then we'll keep an eye on it. Oh my God, it starts to smell so good. Mmm, and we'll be back. Mmm, it's so hot in here. Whew, all right. Slowly load, it's hot. So, chicken is coming out. We're gonna let them rest for about five to 10 minutes because they're hot. We're, then we're gonna skewer them up. Look how nice and caramelized they look. We, we don't, we only want the chicken. We don't want too much of the uh, braising liquid that's there. Because then we're gonna Skewer them, we're going to skewer and then we're going to put them on the grill and then we're going to baste them. With this liquid here, because of the garlic and everything broke down, I'm not really going to use it because as you can tell, all the liquid is gone. But I will make a braising liquid out of barbecue sauce and some Yoshida's teriyaki sauce and a little bit of um, plain simple syrup, not the basil one, and I'll use that as a little glaze. Oh wait, yeah. My barbecue sauce. Oh, I have a new barbecue sauce. It's so good. All right, so we'll let this sit for a few minutes, and then while we're prepping, um, we'll drink some more beer.
All right, see you in a bit. It's these, hot, isn't it? These, these look like um, no, baby hands. <laughs> they look like baby hands? Yeah. All right, so as you can see, we're skewering up our chicken feet. Can you hand me a skewer? From here? Yeah. I actually want to be here the whole time. Okay. You better get to work. <laughs> I know. So we preheated the grill. Um, as the grill heats up, we want to set it to about uh, roughly 400 degrees. If you are using a charcoal grill, I'm using a propane one, um, you want to do um, a low fire. You don't need it to be super hot. 400 degrees is just fine. Can I have one more skewer, please? So all we're doing, so I do, you soak your skewers, as when you soak for anything, you do about 20 minutes in the water. Someone asked me, he goes, can I soak skewers in beer? Like, yes, you can, um, depending on what you're cooking. And if you're doing something that you're gonna be basting and brushing, don't soak your skewers in beer. If you're doing shrimp, oh yeah. If, you're, if I'm doing shrimp and I'm just doing a simple salt and pepper, I will soak my skewers in like a Hefeweizen. And this one will be just a single. All right, and there we go. Don't oh, need another one? Nope, we can save that one for later. So let me just get my sticky hand and rinse. So, can you hand me that little bowl right there, Annika? No, that one. Yeah. This one? Yep. Thank you. This is just a little basting juice. So I was going to use barbecue sauce, but I'm like, you know what? I got something more special. So a little bit of Yoshida's marinade. For vinegar, I use uh, rice wine vinegar because that's my favorite one to use now. Um, it has a little more flavor than white wine. You can use it in any recipe, as far as I've done so far, uh, in exchange for white wine because this has a little more flavor to it. And to give it a little heat, I put a little Satan's ghost in it. Oh my God, I love this sauce. Like, you don't know how much I love this sauce. Almost to the point where I would do shots of it. That's how much I like it. All right, so now we're gonna go, we're gonna oil up the grill, and then we're going to put these on the grill, slowly grill them, and we're gonna baste them with our sauce. In the meantime, we're also gonna do some steaks and maybe some sausage or, something else because it's hot who wants to cook indoors what's i need vegetables we have asparagus we can do too all right so see you in a bit bye mm. i had to switch to a sump pop found these at target the packaging changed it used to be a lot wider and it had five percent alcohol but they changed their packaging it's a little smaller but it has 6% alcohol. These are Otter Pops for adults. They are really good. Mmm. They're really good. Put this right here in my pocket. So I got my steaks on the grill. Now it's time. I've already flipped them and rotated them. So now it's time to get uh, my skewers going. Oh. A little bit of a brushing. And this is gonna take no time at all, really, because you just basically wanna get a little caramelization on them. Just give them a little bit of a drizzle with our little basting sauce. I'm using the front part of the grill, which actually has the more of a direct flame. Look, that's the one I'm gonna save. So you see that I have one skewer with uh, only one on it, and I'm not gonna baste that one at all. I'm gonna try and not to. I'm gonna do my best. If I do, I'm gonna get yelled at. Annika wants to try it. So I love chicken feet. I used to make these in San Leandro. Um, the wife doesn't like it. 
I grew up eating chicken feet. Not in my household, but my friends of the family, um, or friends that I hung out with. So I make it myself. I do a braise with just like jalapenos and uh, some other sauces. And I do them a slow braise in the oven. These can now move to the back. Down. And so I just figured this time, let me try something new. And I decided to do it barbecue style. Everyone's probably just want to take a look at them. Make sure they're not starting to burn. Oh, it smells really good. Annika, how does it smell over here? Oh, they're starting to get a little sticky and sweet from the uh, glaze. And this one is yours. No spicy sauce or spicy no, sauce? No spicy sauce. Okay. I don't want it on the Very grill. Very gently. You have to have it on the grill. Very gently. Can you put this right there? I got you. No, you won't feel the heat it. at all. Just go ahead and put it down right there. Perfect. Oh, look at that. You're a pro. You'll be grilling in no time. Give these little turns. So you got to turn them every couple of minutes. Otherwise, they'll, uh, they'll caramelize really fast because it's got brown sugar is in the, um, what we cooked them in. And there's also sugar in the marinade from the Yoshida sauce. There we go. That's time to look. You can smell the sauce starting to develop. So this is going to take probably about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to keep rotating them. And then uh, as they start to uh, blacken, which is fine because of the sugar content, we'll make them black. we we'll give them a little crunch, a little kick, and a little sweetness to it. We'll keep rotating them until we think they're done. And then once they get the nice barbecue kind of look, we'll pull them off. All right, seen a little bit. Mm. All right, so we took them off the grill. Look how nice and golden brown, little bit of char they have. I mean, except for that spot right there, because, um, yeah, I couldn't resist. I had to take a bite. Let's dive in. Mm. Sticky sweet. Got some heat from the Satan's Ghost. Oh, this is good. These are delicious. You see how like it's coming right off the bone? Mmm. I really like this recipe. Sticky. I think you're looking good, but that's from the um, that's from the chicken because they have a high amount of um, cartilage and um, what's that called? Um, what's good for your skin? Start to the C. Collagen. Collagen. Yeah. College. Sorry, I didn't go to college. Yes, you did. <laughs> Got a really good spicy kick from adding that Satan's ghost to it. So overall, I would definitely make this again and again. And I will definitely take the wife's suggestion about making this for Halloween and give these thing out for uh, Halloween treats. Oh, delicious. Well, that's it for tonight. Cheers, Nix up, well, well, the grill's still hot. It's still, let's see. 81 degrees. 90 degrees, 89, 87. It was sitting on the meat, so that's why it was still going down. So 80 degrees still. But, so, might as well do the asparagus. Cheers. You guys have a good weekend. What day is today? I don't know. Could be a weekend that I upload this. It could be a Monday. Who knows? But, thanks for watching Cooking While Drunk. Hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, visit our new website. Our Facebook site, Cooking While Drunk, 
Instagram, Cooking While Drunk. And uh, we'll have some new stuff posted every day. Or not every day. I'm lazy. Sorry. Yeah, please so don't my, call out your manager because my I, don't I, I never day. will call out my <laughs> Instagram manager, my social media manager slash wife when she's busy with other stuff. But so she, we'll be posting every couple of days. So keep things interesting. Keep everything fun. Keeping everything non-sober. Have a good night.